Hey everybody, Ben here from the Bonehead Podcast and welcome to Dungeon Bowl Starting Rosters College of Heavens. So we're looking at all the teams available in Dungeon Bowl, all the college teams and the wicked mix of random players from random teams and we're putting together some example starting rosters for you. So if you're going to be picking up a, a, a chilled one-off game of Dungeon Bowl or whether you're going to be invited to a Dungeon Bowl League, which does sound pretty good fun, the rosters are going to be 1 million. Everybody gets re-rolls at 50k and we put together some example rosters so you've kind of got a starting point which you can tailor to your need. Now, the College of Heavens is a really interesting mix of lizardmen and human players. So I'm thinking jungle theme, I'm thinking Parazzo's Lost Legion, Conquistadors mixed with lizards. It's a pretty cool one, so let's have a look. So the College of Heavens is the only team that is limited to one of each positional. It's a really strange one. It, it kind of it works, but it's just every other one has multiple options at most of the positionals, but the College of Heavens is just one of each. So um, with a core of Lizardmen and human players at their disposal, uh, Celestial College teams are among the swiftest of all, able to capitalize on even the smallest mistake by their opponents to slip a skink runner through the gaps. Meanwhile, their Saurus blockers are exceptional in their role of patrolling the narrow dungeon corridors at speed while hunting for the ball. So the whole idea here is it's basically some humans corralling some lizards and it works in such a cool way. Now, when you look at the makeup of any team for Dungeon Bowl, you're looking for strong blockers and fast runners. And quite frankly, the Lizardman team is made up entirely of that. So we've got a core of a Lizardman team with a couple of great positionals. And I really like the way it mixes. So let's have a look at some example rosters. So first up, we've got a mixed two reroll build. This one comes in at 990. We've got 11 players and two rerolls. So we are starting out with three skink runners. I mean, their movement eight, they're... They're edge 3+, plus, which is great. They're stunty and they have dodge. So movement 8 and they can just walk through people's tackle zones without an additional penalty. Sure, they have to make that roll, but it's 3+, plus and they've got a core reroll here as well. Movement 8 is absolutely massive and at 60k they are a bargain. The downside, and we've seen this when looking at the beast roster as well, is that when you've got linemen who are 60k and no cheap option, it does limit your builds a little bit. Uh, but this team is backed up by a, a great assortment of, of players. So we've got Imperial Nobility Blitzers, and in this roster we're looking at two of those and four Saurus Blockers. So you've got a combat contingent of six players. They're all Movement 6, Movement 7, backed up by your Movement 8 linemen. This is so fast. Now, the Nobility Blitzers, having block is going to be great. They get agility access as well, so that if you are playing a league or a constructed format, they're getting dodge very quickly. And they become blodgers, and they've got catch as well, which means when it comes for a handoff, when it comes for that stretch play, if you're going to be using the human thrower, spoiler alert, we've got them on this roster, to, to, to throw the ball around a bit, that integral catch is going to be really useful. Then you've got four blockers, and Saurus blockers at strength six can get into position so fast. Adge 5 plus is garbage, so don't be looking for them to score, and certainly don't go dodging around with them. But you've got four of them here, and they're strength four. They've got great armor, and that six movement means you're going to be able to deploy them exactly the right place. Now, skinks working in saw with working with the saurus is not ideal because if you are using this skink to block a space, it's going to be the target. So that saurus is probably going to get ganged up on, but you've got four of them and two human throwers as well. Now, the human thrower is an underrated player. Passing two plus with a pass reroll is fantastic. Movement six adds three plus with a sure hands reroll is brilliant too. So if the ball is anywhere, this human thrower is gonna be able to get it, three plus plus, and then fob it off, two plus plus. And when you've got movement eight skink runners, when you've got movement seven nobility blitzers, you should be able to spread that ball about whenever you need to and look for a very fast redeployment into the safety of your Saurus blockers. 
But when we're building these rosters, we are looking at how to get into Dungeon Bowl as well. So with this roster, we've got a Saurus heavy build. And this is a Lizardman team, basically, with one additional twist. So the Saurus heavy roster comes in at 980. So if you are a Lizardman player and you're feeling the itch for some Dungeon Bowl, with one slight twist of your players, you can have this roster. So four Skink Runners, that's that huge movement. Six Saurus Blockers. Six Movement, six Strength, four fortresses okay dungeon bowl is in two elements okay there's two phases of dungeon bowl there's explore and then there's exterminate and during that explore phase movement is key during the exterminate phase strength four is key so those saurus blockers are going to be able to spread out and gum up the corridors they will be able to protect your end zone while your skink runners go exploring now this roster's got three rerolls as well saurus blockers no combat skills there so that those rerolls are going to be able to keep your team active keep it doing stuff and we've put one human thrower on this roster to really make the most of that sure hands and that movement and that agility that one thrower is going to need to be protected by your sauruses but when it comes to the scoring when it comes to the time where you need to score, those Saurus blockers should be able to blitz through. Movement 6 and Strength 4 should be able to clear enough of a gap for your Movement 8, Edge 3 plus plus Dodge Stunty Skink to fly through with the ball and your Human Thrower with Passing 2 plus is going to be able to get it there. Alternatively, you can go Human Heavy. So we've got a 990 build here with two rerolls. Uh, and this is looking at 990. This is 980 actually. So 11 players, two rerolls. We've got five skinks, four nobility blitzers, two human throwers, and two rerolls as well. So if you've got a human team or a nobility team, you'll be able to farm this out. You will need to find some skinks. And this is the challenging thing with this college is you need skinks there's no way around it you can't afford not to have them um there's just not enough player option so that's a downside however you've got a human team you've got a nobility team you pick up some goblins to use as skinks job done or you pick up those skinks and you paint them to match your human team and you can start building a really cool narrative of how these players are working together is it just because the wizard did it all right that's a very valid fantasy explanation for anything chaos did it a wizard did it or is this a trade okay is this are they aztec is this your jungle team do you have an amazon team that you can use the amazon positionals in concert with those skinks to get a jungle theme going but back to gameplay five skinks awesome four movement seven block catch pieces to spread the ball out very good too and two human throwers movement six with that sure hands piece you've got four block Five dodge, two sure hands with decent pass, and two rerolls in the net. This is a great multi skill team. Plenty fast, there's still some combat power. This team will be very effective when you need it to do stuff, it will do stuff. Kinda doesn't excel, and it will go down if it gets. if it wanders up a corridor into a, um, a heavy metal blocker build, you might be in trouble. But you can always just use your skink runner to dodge straight through there. And lastly, we've got the max combat roster here. So you've got a bit of flexibility with the positionals you can buy. And you've got the flexibility of how many rerolls you can buy. So the max combat build comes in at 990, 11 players, one reroll. So this starts to get risky. But then you look at what you can get for this price. Three skink runners. That's great. Good movement. Four Nobility Blitzers with block and movement seven and four Saurus Blockers at that strength four movement six piece. One reroll is going to hurt you, sure. But eh, you've got a multiple contingent there of a Nobility Blitzer backed up by a Saurus Blocker and a Skink Run alignment. The way Dungeon Bowl kind of builds out is you end up with little parties, little groups of players going through the dungeon and having skirmishes. Every now and again, you'll break one dude off free on their own. And that's the strength here. Max combat. If this is going to be a tunnel fighting dungeon, those Saurus blockers backed up with nobility blitzers going to be able to fight your way out. If this is a spread and explore mission, those runners and nobility blitzers, you've got eight players here who are strength four or have combat skills. So you've got eight combat pieces and seven players who are movement seven or more. So you've got the best of both worlds. The downside is you don't have any rerolls. So if it starts going wrong, it's going to go wrong hard. But four strength four, four block and three movement eight dodges. Yeah, one reroll is tough, but the rest of this roster is pure power.
And that's it. So even though the College of Heavens is very limited on the players you've got, you can mix it up. You can go different routes and you've got a plan for different dungeons. And the College of Heavens gives you that severe flexibility. Heavy blockers, great blitzers, fast runners. It's all you really need. And you've got that thrower there as well. So when it starts to become a competitive or constructed event, you can take a leader reroll and boost it up. So you've got a ton of flexibility and it's a really cool hobby project. There really is only one style of College of Heavens and it involves a skink runner. And quite frankly, one box of nobility or humans and one box of uh, lizards and you will max out the difference, the different ways of running your College of Heavens and that's okay. We've seen some crazy colleges with thousands of players and this one here is pretty concise but I feel like it has a very unique playstyle. It's gonna be fast, it will fall apart sometimes but this is kind of the elite roster. There's the College of Light, which is all about elves, but this one here is a really interesting one. This line, this one's like Eldar from 40k. It's like, you've got to play this with skill. This is the Protoss of Dungeon Ball. It's an interesting one. I like it. I'm actually quite looking forward to playing with this roster. Um, it's great to get lizards on there, and you've got some human element as well, and I do like the human-lizard combo. It's just got that jungle vibe, and that's so cool. Anyway, please drop any other rosters you got for the College of Heavens in the comments below. Uh, I know I'm gutted this doesn't have the Croxagore. They could have just had the Croxagore in this one and left it out of the beasts, but they didn't. And you know what? We got human throwers instead. That's probably all right. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. We'll be back soon with more Blood Bowl content. Happy Dungeoneering. Thanks very much for watching. We really appreciate your support. If you want to help support the channel even further, please like and subscribe or come join us on our Patreon. We have early access to content. We get loads of feedback from you guys and we try and do competitions as much as we can. Or you can get yourself some Bonehead Podcast merch on our Spreadshirt site. So if you want to support a team, especially for the Bonehead Championship, you can pick up a shirt, a mug, things like that. It all helps support the channel and we really appreciate it. Anyway, links below. Thank you very much. Happy blocking.